stories where you had a player who had dreams of going to the NFL. He's wrongly convicted for a crime he didn't do. Career over. Basically, life is over. He gets out. Try to clear his name. And of course, the justice system is against him. And man, we hear these stories forever and a day. I mean, just all you got to do is just randomly just look up anything and you see a story damn near every week about somebody getting out of prison for a crime they didn't commit, spent years in there, and then it's like trying to piece their life back together. And it's just sad because I would not know what to do if that happened to me. I'd be so fucking pissed. I'd be so angry that could I get over it, you know, for something I didn't do all these years, just taking them from me. And it's sad because, you know, how do you respond, you know? You just end up just can't adjust and you end up going back to jail or you just get by or you just finally get yourself together where you're just at peace so i know this is starting all this hodge he's been killing it and if you watch city on the hill with him and kevin bacon man great first season like uh like i gotta watch episode nine and then sunday coming up is season 10 i mean it's episode 10 the season finale and it's already been renewed for a second season so and i quote uh most people probably remember him from that show i think it was leverage so he's a you know pretty good actor and i think you know with this city on the hill it's gonna step his game up even more so let's go ahead and check this out boyhood dreams got no place in a man's life you need to concentrate on getting employed forget about football <laughs> When I was young, it was hard to see a way out. Football gave me an option. Brian Banks with the tackle. By the time I was 16, I had the attention of the NFL. The sky is the limit for this kid. So what happened? Why don't you play anymore? Brian Banks was 16 years old when he was accused of a crime he did not commit. He lost 11 years. Scholarship. He was prevented from playing football. The system is broken. We have 10 months to clear his name. If in that time they do not overturn your conviction, you'll be a prisoner again. I need Damn. something big, something extraordinary. Yeah. It's extraordinary that I'm still here. Yeah. I'm still standing. Yeah. You ever been locked up? It nearly killed me. How did you survive it? Almost did. And I met a man who showed me a different way. All you can control oh, in shit. life is how you respond to life. I, I know what I have to do now. My son is innocent. They tried to call me out. You think you'll get another shot at the NFL? Trust me, we got a plan. It's not I am innocent, and the truth matters. I know the system doesn't care about me. Okay, that's a you Sherry Shepard. What happened to you? Not, Brian's gonna run out of time. It's not over. I'll tell you what's extraordinary. I am. All right. Cool, yeah. Like, just learning about the story is definitely something to check out, something I'll be looking forward to. You know, just seeing him as an actor, just getting these, like, bigger roles and being a starring role, so... I really like that. So like I said, man, check out City on the Hill. That's on Showtime. Man, I guarantee you, y'all would like the show and y'all would definitely like the way he is uh, he doing a job on that. So, all right, y'all, there y'all have it. So with that being said, subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button. JV Lewis, y'all be safe out here. Catch y'all on the rebound. Check out the Patreon. Hit the notification button. And I'll see y'all good people next video. Peace.